Hey guys, I know it's dark, I know you probably can't see very well, but I promised you a video on the heater in action. So here I am, let me show you around. So the coil is in the fireplace right now. It's coming out at about 115 degrees or so when I just barely tested it. That's about right there right now. So you can see the fireplace chugging away and there's a lot of red coals, you can see them see the coil going in and out we got our lines or pex lines I got actually my tent pretty close but they're sitting in the cooler the battery keeps both cables pinched in there as tight as possible this is all nice and warm the battery has plenty you can hear the rain starting to drip right now and then right inside the tent we got the unit sitting there chugging away and it's heater core huh? now the rain's really coming right now it's about 47 degrees outside um, it's about 10 o'clock but it's probably going to get down to low 40s maybe high 30s so it'll be cold so I'll do some updates just to let you know how this burns on through the night I did put a couple extra logs you know kind of buried the coil so that it'll keep retaining heat and the cooler keeps the heat in there too hopefully I'll just keep pumping the heat into the tent all night long um, the tent isn't very uh, insulated, so we'll see. It ran all night long. Um, right now in here, it is about 42 degrees outside and about 69 inside. It got down to about 35 or so last night. Um, it did conk out because the fire, it started raining pretty hard, so the fire conked out probably about three or four, but the tent was already a little bit warmer, stayed roughly 10 to 15 degrees warmer than outside the whole night even you know you know I was able to build up the temperature beforehand I got a couple hours so for the first thing this morning you know it still retained a little bit of heat it would actually still blow out probably close to like 60 degree air even when the fire had conked out you know five hours later or so but fire restarted took about 20 minutes and it's back up to nice hot temperature blown out a little over 100 degree air but you know kept it nice and toasty just to show you some temperatures coming out 112 degrees oh, 140 I'm not sure well what's the wood it looks like the wood right around the opening is yeah 135 one somewhere in there that's how hot they are coming out, all four sides. I think the water right now is 150 or something. 155, so nice and warm. You see it chugging away right there, you can see it a little bit better. All the hose, wasn't sure how much hose I needed. Battery keeps the lid closed with everything in it and everything runs in. You could also run that, you could also put the coil on like let's say a propane grill or something all night long and just let it sit. Put the coil on there and put uh, like a pot lid or piece of metal over the top so the heat came out from the coils and that would also do, do the same thing. The whole setup and just to prove that I'm camping, well, it's not my backyard. There you go guys, if you didn't see how I made this, go ahead and uh, I'll put a link to it right here and I'll put it down in the description too. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you soon, bye.